Hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. Um, today we're going to work on um, three different hunted houses. So um, we're going to um, wax them. So I have one more that I need to wax is my little house and then we can start. So let me just do that right quick. Okay, so this is my last house I need to wax. So let, I'm going to do that. Okay. And you just need a little bit. And what this does, it helps your transfer not stick to the um, paint on your, on your house. And um, it makes it easier for you to, when you um, remove your transfer, that it won't scratch it out. So that's all done. So, okay, I think the first one we're gonna work on is um, the big house, haunted house. So let's do that one first. And this one here, and our transfer is um, haunted houses. And there's three different, actually there's four different haunted houses. There's one for the big one, and then the medium sized one, is here and then we have one for the smaller house so we're going to do all three of these today so this should be uh shouldn't take that long and so let's get started so let me get my transfer here oh my transfer has been difficult today i hope everyone's had a a um, good day today. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let me fuzz it. So we're gonna fuzz it. Let's fuzz it one more time because it's pretty sticky. Okay, and let's line this up. I'm gonna start from the bottom and work up. Let's see. There we go. Just make sure there's no um, bubbles. Okay. So you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna use our bright white to chalk with today. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to actually use a storm. So this is our storm. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit up here to get this started. Put some here. And here and some there okay so let's get started and it's um, much easier if you start out with um, a little bit more paste and that way you can cover it when it's so big and you can move a lot faster and then what you do is, once you have your transfer all covered, then you can take off the excess. Let's make sure we make sure you hit get every spot. Okay, also what I wanted to let you guys know, if you're a club member, um, you, we have 50% uh, off all the A-size transfers um, for club members for the month of September or as long as supply lasts. We have supply, okay. 
just make sure I didn't get that corner. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think we're good. All right, put the excess back. Okay, so let's reveal. There we go. Voila. Still wet. Make sure I don't. There you go. Get a better look at it. That turned out awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. And what I'm going to do once these are dry, let me dry this one. Um, I'm going to uh, put some glow in the dark paste on it so um, you'll be able to see it at night. that one dries we'll work on the next one and we're gonna do this one oh can you see it there we go this is the one we're gonna do for our orange house so okay let me move my storm and for the orange house we're going to use our bright white so this is our bright white chalk paste And I've already um, waxed the orange house, so we're okay. We can just fuzz and start uh, putting the paste on. Okay. okay, so let's do this. Since this one's got a little bit of a um, beveled edge, so I don't know if you guys can see it. So let's see if I can make sure that I get it straight on here. Let me see what I'm actually doing here. There we go. This is a little cricket. There we go. <laughs> okay. Line this up. Okay. It's over just a little bit. Okay. Let me make sure here. Okay, let me move it down just a little. is a little crooked. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. There we go. Grab another squeegee and we're going to use the white paste on this one. So I'm put some here. Here. And here. Okay, so let's start. And for our um, designers, we have a promotion going on where if you sell or purchase 100 PV or more, you get put in a drawing to win up to $100 designer cash. Desi I'm sorry, designer dollars. And that you can use for uh, purchasing inventory or purchasing supplies that you need. 
and that is from September 1st through the 14th. So tomorrow will be the last day for that. Sure, we got got every spot. Oh, Mr. Spot right there. Okay. Okay, I think we're good here. Let's see, oh, got something right here on the corner. Okay. Clean up the excess. So let's reveal. Okay, pull it up slowly at a 90 degree angle. There we go. Oh, perfect. It came out great. Awesome. Okay. How this one's look. Yay, I'm so happy. Came out really nice. Okay, let me try this one a little. Okay. And while that one's drying more, we're gonna work on our little gray house. You know what? I need to wax this one because I think I forgot to wax it. So let me do a little wax on this one. And then we'll be ready to go. Okay. And the gray, we're going to do this one is our house that we're gonna make for the great house. Okay, so, oh, and also, make sure that you write on the back so you'll know which one to replace your transfer back onto. And that just helps so you don't get them all confused. Okay, all right, so let's line this up. So when your transfer has more screen, so it's very little that sticks to the surface that you're working on, just make sure that you um, hold it when you start pasting and then you'll be able to get a good transfer. Okay, this one's got a bubble. Let's see if we can get the bubble out. And make sure there's no bubbles or ripples because if there's bubbles or ripples when you put the paste on then it will um, bunch up in your screen and then you'll have like a blob instead of a very nice transfer okay alrighty I think we got it let's see come on there we go Okay, so we're going to use white for this one as well. So let's get started. Here. Okay. I'm going to hold my transfer as I go down to make sure that my paste spreads evenly and my transfer don't slide. As I get closer to the bottom, then I will 
use my multi-tool to make sure that we are that it's still on the slide. So okay. I can finish the bottom here. Okay. Just make sure we got a complete coat. Put the excess back in your jar. clean application Gray house. Okay, there we go. All right. Hey. Okay. So let's draw this one a little bit, and then we'll work on our other little embellishments that we're gonna put on the house. So now, do I need the white? No. Okay, I don't think I need a... Okay. So let me wash off my scrunchie here. So I can use it for a different color. going to do is going to do our pumpkins first, our little pumpkin embellishments, and those are going to go on one of the houses that we're done. Okay. Got paste all over my hand. Let's see. Okay. So let's see. We have a tall pumpkin and a little pumpkin. Okay. Okay, so this goes with that one. And where's my other pumpkin? Here we go. And we have a little pumpkin. So we're gonna do, use black velvet for the pumpkins. So let's, whoa. All right, so we're gonna use black velvet for the pumpkins. So let me just fuzz this right quick. Let me fuzz in. Let me fuzz one more time. Okay, so let's get this lined up so you guys can see. that pumpkin and then we're going to line do the other pumpkin while we're both okay one more time okay so now we're gonna do this pumpkin as well Got it? Yes. Okay. All right. 
So we're going we're gonna use softly little. Okay. So let's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my multi-tool because it has a little scrunchy on the end, so this will be easier to do the pumpkins. So because I don't need a whole lot. So let's get these. On there. Okay. All right, clean up the excess. Okay, so that's that one. All right, let's do this one. So make sure you cover your whole trend, your whole design. Okay, come on. The, that's the spot. Okay. All right, clean up the excess on here. Okay. All right, so let's see. Take this one off. There we go. I don't like that one. So oh, let me take, let's see, make sure that we got, got this one. Okay, okay let's see what, what this pumpkin looks like. Okay, so you know what, let's redo these because they did not turn out the way I wanted them to. That's a good thing about paste. <laughs> you can clean them off and start over. And clean this one off and do the same. You can use um, a baby wipe and it will clean off the paste and then you can start again okay okay Move this camera so you guys can see better there we go okay okay there we go can't see what I'm doing all right, so let me get another baby wipe and we're gonna clean off the transfers. I left my spray bottle upstairs. So one thing you need to do is just hold it down and wipe. And you can clean your transfer. it up and turn it over and clean the sticky side and that will get your screen oops your screen clean so now let's just make sure I got everything Now we can restart. Let me clean this other one. Got that one off. And let's clean this one as well. So just take your baby wipe. <clears throat> just clean. And the black, any of the dark colors, some of black will stain your transfer, but you can still be able to. You'll still be able to use your transfer. Just make sure that the screen in your design is completely clean of paste. So I'm gonna pick this up and then flip it over and then clean the sticky side. And then you just dry it 
um, with your fuzz and cloth and then you'll be able to reuse it again. Okay, let me do one more baby wipe. This is for the little pumpkin, so let me get this lined up to where this again <laughs> and hopefully I think I might have used too much paste this time so let me I'm gonna try with my scrunchie this time Okay, come on, couple cooperate, little pumpkin. Okay, I think that's okay. Here, let's move it over just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, all right, so let's see if we use a Scrunchy this time and see what happens. Much better. I moved that one over too far, <laughs> but that's okay. You know what? That'll be all right. No, but there we go. Okay. There's that one. My other one's a little, quick, little off. I think I might have to redo that one, but. that pumpkin over there set the other one over there let it dry we'll stick these oh you know what oh here let's um do, 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 do. Oh. Just 
do the gargoyle and the rest in peace sign. We're gonna do those in storm. So, and then I think the beware sign, the bat, and the cat. I think I'm gonna do. We have a um, we had a special color in August called per very Perry that I'm gonna use as well. Okay, so let's find. Okay, here's the gargoyle. This one is for the gargoyle. You guys can see, there we go. Okay. Okay. So this is the gargoyle. Let's try to get him lined up here. Just a little. Okay. okay, and then uh, rest in peace. And this is a rest in peace one. Okay. All right. Get our rest in peace lined up. There we go. And we're going to use Storm. Stuck to the okay. Let's put this rest in peace down. Do, 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 do. Let's see. There. Okay. So. it up without messing him up and there's the gargoyle and then let's do the rest in peace sign okay. and here it oh good job Nicole 
<laughs> just flipped it on my hand. Let's see. The rest in peace. There we go. <sighs> Throw those in there. In the water bath. Okay. Let's grab another wipe. Paste. gonna do the glow in the dark. And to wait the glow in the dark paste you can activate it with a light or out sunlight. Um, that will definitely get it to glow. Oops. Clean our, our transfers are really easy to clean. One thing you need is some um, cool water and um, you can use a Clorox wipe, a baby wipe to clean off the um, paste. Or we have um, e eraser boards that you can use um, to clean them off. Make sure I got everything. Okay. My poor eraser board is see, about ready to give out. Just trying to make sure I got all the excess paint off. Put it on our micro side, put it in and pat dry so we'll be able to use it and it will dry. So one side is for fuzzing and one side is a, a microfiber. So it dries out, it dries your transfer. So our transfer is not completely dry, but it's dry enough for me to be able to use it again. So I'm gonna line this up again. Let's make sure. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is There we go. Okay. 
It's all lined up again. And we're going to use the glow in the dark. This is our glow in the dark. Let me see if I can activate it so you guys can see. See, it's got a little glow, but it's hard to see because it's not dark in here. Let's see, we're gonna do that. Okay. All righty. Squeegee here. Okay. All right. So let's do. Okay. There we go. to apply a lot so it'll go through the transfer and get enough application on it and that way you won't be able to see the glow until it's activated but when it's activated from the Sun or light then in the dark then you'll really get to see it glow but the thing is to make sure that you apply enough on there apply apply it heavy and then take off the excess and that way your coverage you know that you got a full coverage of your glow in the dark and it takes a little longer for the glow in the dark to dry so um, just give it a chance to dry okay make sure cut it on Take this off. Okay. see I don't know if you guys can see it in the light but it's a little damp you can see it no you can't really see it but it's on there so you just need to See if I can make it dark enough so you guys can see what it it'll look like. It's about thirty. Sometimes it takes about thirty seconds. You should be able to get a a glow. Um, if you leave it longer, the glow will be even brighter. Um, so you guys can see. Okay. Now, let me see if I can. So you guys will be able to see the glow. The, the glow in the dark. Get dark enough so you didn't see it or not. Let's see. Okay. Let me turn my light off. Well, let's see. Oh, there it goes. Okay. 
here it is. Can you guys see it? It's a little glow, not quite yet, but that's how it'll look. So, turned out really nice. Okay. Get some lights in here. to glow so okay. so let's get these all cleaned up Clean that one out over at it. Okay. Okay. That's the sticky side. Clean out that side. So this is sticky side. Already, so well, this one's already. Let's let's do this one. Okay, let's line it back up so everything will be in the same spot. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna use glow in the dark. So let's just make sure it's stuck down. Okay, so let's do glow in the dark with this one. Sure don't have any lines or anything because you don't want it to be in your design. Okay, let's make sure I got everything. Okay, so let's clean this 
सुन रही हूँ So we put the glow in the dark on this one as well. And our last one, the little house. Okay. So line this up. Through my haunted houses will glow in the dark, so that should be a real cool um, thing to see. that I have enough on there so everything will be have glow in the dark on it okay I'm taking off the excess of the glow in the dark just making sure I don't have any lines or streaks so when I pull it off it's a clean application okay. Oops, okay. Okay. I think we're good just trying to make sure that we have it on there. Okay. All right. That's good for the glow in the dark. Let's pull this one off. Okay. There we go. Put this one there. Okay. So let's dry this one. And then we'll finish the last one. The embellishments that go on the house. Okay. Let that one dry. Okay, so I'm done with the glow in the dark. So now we have left is the cat, the beware sign, and the bat. And I think I'm going to do those in the uh, periwinkle. I think it's periwinkle. <laughs> oh, actually, I was wrong. Uh, shimmery very peri that's the name of this one and it's such a pretty color with the sparkles and everything in it so we're gonna try this i haven't tried this one this is a new um this was a new color for um a halloween edition for the month of august so let's um okay this one is for the beware sign so let's Let's 
Oh, this is the B word sign. So let's get it lined up. Okay. Looks, looks a little groovy. Put them all on so then we can just go one by one and okay this is the bat do the cat. The cat is our last one. Here, yeah, so here we go. That's our cat. Okay, so I'm going to use our shimmery very Perry. I think that would be a really cool color. color is really pretty like a purple should be a consistency of like yogurt not not chunky but smooth okay so we did that okay so let's Use our small one here. We're gonna do the cat. can see there's the cat Let's see if I can pick it up so you guys can see Oop. Uh, uh, oh, focus there we go so that's the cat very pretty okay and now we're gonna do the beware sign This is the beware sign.
too. <laughs> so hopefully it's got a good application. Do, 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 do. Application. Okay. Okay. Hopefully we did. Okay. And there's our beware sign. all covered and we'll take off the excess. Okay. Okay. Use my scrunchie so we can really get the excess off. There we go. the bat. Such a pretty color. I really like that color. And that was the very Perry. Okay. All right. We're almost coming to closing in here. So let's um, da -da -da. Oh, you know what? Let me plug in my hot right, glue gun. And then we can add these to the house. So, let's see. This house is dry. Oh, good. It's dry. Okay, so this one's dry. Probably do a pumpkin here, maybe. Oh, you know what? We can do a Right side. There. 
the kitty there. I'll do. Let's see, I'm trying to see if I do want the kitty on this house. No, he's not big enough. Um. Oh, you know what? Let's switch pumpkins. Let's see what I want to cut there. Let's see. Okay. And then a gargoyle right there. I'll put him over here. That'll work. in peace here with the cat there. That'll work. Alrighty. We figured it out. Yay. Okay. So let's do the big one. Okay. So. Alright. So here is the. I'll do the cat. Cool guys, not ready yet. I don't think. Let's see. Nope, not ready yet. Okay. All right. So while we're waiting on the glue gun to get hot, turn. We're going to include somewhat. Um, let's clean some transfers. Okay, get these all cleaned up. Now be ready to go back into. There. Right. Oops. <laughs> okay. And that's the great thing about using the transfers. You clean them up and then you can get continuous use out of them out of them. Dry this one. So dry. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So like a glue gun is ready to go. So let's do the cat. Okay. 
that down. Let's do the beware sign. Sign. Let's do the bat. Okay. Oh, wow. Turned out amazing. Look at there. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's do the smaller house. We're just going to add a pumpkin here. Okay, so let's add our pumpkin. Okay, maybe we should insert it here. That one. Okay. And our last one is the orange house. Okay. So let's do the pumpkin. Ooh. <laughs> it's the pumpkin. drops today. The rest in peace. Gargoyle. I think I'm going to leave him. I don't know. Should I put him there? No, I don't want to put him there. Let's put him right here. Right here. Right. Perfect. Okay. So we'll put him. There we go. So that one's all done. Oh, it looks amazing. Love it, love it. Okay. So these are the three that we did today. Make sure we get them all in the camera. They turned out amazing. So um, if you guys are watching me on Facebook, uh, please go ahead and follow, and then you can see other um, lives that I do. If you're following me on YouTube, please subscribe so you can get to see the latest videos that I put out. And I wish everybody have a great day today, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.